this hooked up for his head. That's the part of the trip, I think. I was looking for old bottles, so that's a good contender. It's gonna be hard to get, get back to the owner. I'm gonna have myself a good old bro. Welcome back to Bermuda, everyone. Join my family and I over a three week stay as we soak in the island life. We started the holiday off right by spending a day on the boat snorkeling the subtropical waters of the Atlantic. Lakiba and Gareth also recently took possession of their new boat and we are excited to check it out. They have a pretty fancy service. Call ahead and they launch your boat. Hey buddy, you go on the boat bud? Hey Sayla, where are we? You liking it? You having fun? How about you buddy? Pumped? Yeah. Yeah, give me one of those. So we got to Bermuda, we flew here yesterday from Vancouver and it was a flight from, actually it wasn't too bad, the kids were pretty well behaved. I didn't really do too much filming yesterday, we got into Lakeba and Garth's place, Jasmine's parents, probably around 4 o'clock in the afternoon, had a relaxed night. The weather here has been windy, uh, been a bit stormy this year too, a lot of hurricanes have been uh, making their way past Bermuda, luckily we dodged a few on this trip, but uh, still could swing by while we're here. We're on the boat today. We're gonna go circling with the kids. And then from there, I'm gonna maybe do a bit of diving. Really, really pumped to be here though. Weather's great, hot, sunny. And we get to dodge the beginning of the rain season in Vancouver. It's officially fall. It felt pretty good to be back. Where are we just? Tobacco Bay Beach. We're in St. George's. And what's here? What's here? Uh, lots of snorkeling. Yeah. And uh, Alexandra Battery, which is a port. That's kind of cool. Yeah, and um, I used to live in St. George's, so this is like where I I spent a lot of my teenage years at this beach. <laughs> and apparently there's bottles here? Probably. Yeah. There's, a, there's a bar that's right there. So. I, don't, I don't want to get bottles. No, I'm not. You know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. The kids don't get to see the in-laws very much, so we try to make the most out of these trips. A quick thanks to Diving Sports for hooking up Sailor and Zai with some snorkeling equipment. Straight up, taking Sailor into the ocean was a dream come true and a moment I've been waiting for since her birth. Proud dad right here. She did great. I also got to do some snorkeling with my wife, which was super special. Jasmine's not a fan of the cold water, but we do get to spend some time in the ocean when we travel to warm destinations abroad. Tobacco Bay is known for its snorkeling, and it's pretty amazing. It's a little artificial for me though, as they tend to feed fish at this location. The beauty of Mother Nature can't be ignored though, and these schools of fry were so thick, they dropped the visibility to a few meters. Jasmine spotted this grouper hanging out in the shallows, waiting for some easy prey. I focused my attention on a trumpet fish. They are quite peculiar. They remind me of the much smaller tube snouts we have in the waters of British Columbia. Despite all the beauty, I found some fishing gear drifting around the ocean, destroying pieces of the environment in its path. What a shame. Once the wife and kids tired out, I swam to some deeper water to do some free diving. I only did a few drops as the visibility was poor, but on the second one I found a GoPro 10. I've yet to lose a GoPro myself, but when the day comes, I hope the finder tries to locate me. Jarvis, say? Can we go faster? <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> You're a pretty serious driver. First. No smiles. Pretty good find at the first spot. Uh, GoPro mask, the hammerhead. I have, this, I have two of the same one actually. This is my third now. And a GoPro 10. I can see the footage on there and maybe try to get back to the owner if that's possible. The thing is, there's so many tourists in Bermuda. You never know if it's a local or where in the world this came from. But we'll make the effort. Uh, we're at a second spot and going to search around for bottles. See if I can find anything here at this old port. We were finding lots of old, hand-blown black glass rum bottles, but unfortunately, they were all broken. I did, however, manage to find a mid-19th century wine bottle. We went to the Bermuda Underwater Exploration Institute and found one almost identical, dating back to 1838. On the way back in, we stumbled upon some boat races. 
The kids found it pretty exciting, and to be honest, so did we. So I got some good news and I got some bad news. Bad news for the person that lost the GoPro is I can't get any information. Only, only one or two videos on there. Actually, only one video and it's just this dude swimming around. I can see he's using this as a selfie stick. But uh, good news is for me, uh, I have myself a new GoPro gen. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I'm pretty stoked and the mouse too. Uh, this computer's glitching away, but literally just that one clip of him swimming around or scuba diving around. This isn't even the same spot as where I found it. Um, you can see here, no other clips, no real information to relocate the lost camera with the owner. Uh, this was last September 3rd, 2022, so it's been in the ocean for over a year now too, which is pretty crazy. Uh, good find for me. And here's where things got a bit funny. I went on Facebook and posted about the camera that I had found. My friend John Seal, I spearfish with him when I'm in Bermuda. He reached out on a little Facebook community group for lionfish calling. Uh, somebody immediately recognized it, the mask, and also was able to pinpoint the location and where it was found. So uh, we found the owner. Ended up being Warren Sapp of the NFL. He's a Hall of Famer. Uh, big, big name in NFL as well. Uh, it's pretty, pretty funny, pretty random. Uh, so arrangements were made. I got the camera back to him and he seemed very grateful. Said he took it with him duck hunting. So excited that I was able to get that GoPro back despite all the odds, whether it be an everyday Joe or a celebrity. You know, I like to get people's belongings back to them. And I hope someone would do the same thing and uh, return a GoPro to me when I lose mine. Because it's going to happen one day. Hasn't happened yet, but it's going to happen. Uh, it's those memories you can't get back, right? So uh, peace and love, everybody. Hope you enjoy that episode. I got three more Bermuda ones coming. Uh, just around the corner.